Um, I do want to say though, like I'm, um, you know, minus the obvious, right? There, you had some things that you were dealing with. Um, it's very evident that there would be uh, people in the same situation as you minus those ailments. So what I kind of want to ask is, what do you think are, what do you think most marriages are missing? You know what? One of the things I would say is that comfortability to connect and talk about anything. And I mean anything because, you know, early in my marriage, I didn't have that comfortability. I didn't, I didn't know how to bring up conversations about sex or what I didn't want, what I wanted to try, what, you know, I didn't know how to facilitate that conversation. And so, you know, um, and so there, and, and I was not alone. I found out I was not alone, you know? And so being able to talk to each other about anything and it's not, and I don't mean like, you know what, we have to talk, you know, not like that, but making your regular, you know, conversations. And we'll talk about, you know, as far as bedroom conversations, making it, a safe atmosphere that either of you can bring up questions, comments, or concerns about your bedroom, right? That's not, oh, I'm telling you, I didn't know how to do it. Now I do. And so, and I continue, you know, I'm 45 years old and I have 50 year olds, 60 year olds that have never been comfortable wow. having that conversation with their husband. And of course, some younger ones as well, but older than me, you're like, oh, wow. So it's, it's still ongoing. I mean, women are not at a, you know, all time high of being comfortable to have that conversation. And wow. so when you really master that, it's not like, Oh, you know, we, I got to talk to you today. You know, it, it's an ongoing conversation. And so when it's ongoing, there's not like, uh Oh, she needs to talk. Uh Oh, you know, it's not that it's like, you know, he's free to talk about things without, you know, feeling like he's going to hurt your feelings and vice versa. It's an ongoing conversation. When you get that down, I'm telling you, it, it, it is amazing what the shift that will happen in your marriage. I love that. I love that you're saying that. My um, fiance uh, was married previously and um, that was actually an issue. So I'm very much the way that you're speaking. I say, let's talk. I do this to my son too. And I, and I did it to kind of um, erase that thought of like, every time my mom talks to me, it's because there's an issue. So I've just right. always been like that. Like I'll say purposely, Hey, we need to talk. And, and 50% of the time or 70% of the time, cause my child is freaking amazing. Um, it's, it's just, it's just to talk. So my son doesn't associate let's talk with something bad. But mm. when I met my fiance, his wife, his ex-wife was very much like, Hey, let's talk was horror. Like a horrible thing was going on. So I've had to do exactly what you're saying where there's a constant conversation going on in order to bring trust within the relationship. So I love that. I love that for new marriages and marriages that are, that are coming from old past experiences where right. maybe that was abused. Oh yeah. So, so true. And, yes. and you know, uh, many times I, I teach women to really use the art of curiosity Oh. When you use the art of curiosity in the bedroom, it leaves, you know, you don't have to commit or, you know, be judged or anything like that when you use the art of curiosity. And so for an example, it's like, you know, babe, I wanted to try something tonight. Are you willing to try, you know, something tonight after we put the kids to bed? And, you know, yeah, okay, that's that sounds good. And so when you're trying things, you don't have to commit. And so you want to try this. Okay. Maybe you want to try that, try this position. And then, you know, take one night to make it a, a night of curiosity. And then 
you know, maybe the same night or another night, only encourage the behavior that you want. And so you don't have to worry about saying, oh, no, don't do that. No, you don't. Do, you, don't you don't have to worry about what you don't want them to do. Just encourage what you do. Because, you know, your husband's not going to say, but what about that other move that I have? No, but but what about what, what about that one thing? No, he's going to be focusing on what you say that you want. Right. And yes. so use the art of curiosity and then encourage what you want. And don't worry about don't worry about what you don't want. Right. And Absolutely. so that way you, you're not hurting each other's feelings. He's not feel like he's being judged because when you're. When you're curious, it's just like tasting food at a restaurant. Let me try this. Mm, you know, I like that. That's okay. Let me try this. You know, and you're trying everything. And then you can see what you really want some more of the next time you come. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> we can just cut here if you want. <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> that's great. I absolutely love that.